we're going to build a valve manifold using our configurator. First, navigate to the smcusa.com website. Make sure you log in. This will allow you to download CAD models as well as export schematics. Click on the valve manifold configurator. We have a number of valve manifolds, valve series. SY is the most common. Our customer today asked for a field bus manifold. The modular block is one of the most common that we do. And uh, we offer three different sizes based on the flow rate requirement of your application. I'm going to select our smallest uh, 10 millimeter wide valve, side ported. Uh, metric and inch are available. Again, a customer is looking for a field bus, specifically Profinet. Uh, here we go, 32 outputs. Negative common, make sure to uh, confirm that when you're selecting a manifold. Manifold settings, this is where you select the size of the manifold, which can be expanded once you receive the manifold in the field. But we do encourage to build in some expansion capacity. This particular customer was looking for uh, a number of manifolds, so I'm going to build a 16 station first. Um, anytime it's over eight stations, we always recommend bringing the pneumatic supply to both sides of the manifold. And here we've selected a silencer which will plug into each side of the manifold. If you're looking to save space or minimize the silencer, you can include a built-in silencer. I'll show you what that looks like. Next, if you scroll down, you can see you have a 16 station illustration, but you need to select your valve setting tab. Here's where you select your valve. So 5-2 double, double solenoid, non-locking manual override. And we're going to come down. We're going to put this in the first eight stations of our manifold. Customer also wanted 5-3 block center valve or closed center solenoid. We're going to put those on the next eight stations. Eh, let's go next seven stations because, you know, we may just want a blanking plate. So that's how you select a blanking plate. And again, I'm just clicking on the valve manifold position. If you happen to need a blocking disc between two valve positions. If you're bringing in different pressures to different uh, end blocks, you can do that down here on the bottom. It also gives you the option of selecting an interface or a sandwich regulator. And that would be done by just simply clicking on one of the spacer graphics right below the valve. I'm going to remove that. Okay, once we've populated the entire valve, current configuration is valid, we come up to our bill of materials. Here you can get some quick dimensions on the manifold. We will also be able to show you how to download the bill of materials as well as the CAD model in either a 2D or a 3D format. The software uh, will also allow you to export to our free pneumatic schematic program called NewDraw. So it downloaded the two-dimensional file. I'm opening it. So here you have some very quick dimensions on length, width, and height and an isometric view, uh, which is easily printable. But if we go back to our configurator, you'll also see in the download package, you could do a CAD preview here. This just doesn't give you the dimensions, but this can kind of give you a, a quick check of, does this look right? You, maybe you have a, a similar manifold on your machine, and this just gives you a, a, a quick check. Again, make sure you're logged in, and it will give you the option to export it or download the package. 
and here's where you select the different file types for the complete manifold. And the new draw, I love this option. This will export the manifold directly into our CAD, uh, excuse me, schematic program. You can resize the project. And here you can see I have a 16 station valve manifold. I'll zoom in a little bit better. All right. And just going back here, one of the most common is the installation sheet. Some customers choose to build the manifolds on site, so this can help your technicians uh, with what valve and what components to place in what station. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, direct message me. Have a great day.